Mm. Welcome back to Idaho Today. Tree Fort kicks off tomorrow. Are you excited? We are. And all week, Idaho Today's Cohen Jenkins is sharing a sneak peek of some of the must-see bands. Here's a look at Blood Lemon. But I was such a big fan of Bands like The Who and Rush and The Police, bands that had really good bass players. So I kind of knew from a younger age that I really wanted to play bass. I always wanted to play guitar. That's as long as I can remember. Music was a huge part of growing up. Like we loved musicals and uh, my sisters all sing and act and, and uh, it was just easier for me to play an instrument than to do that. I just really wanted to work with other ladies, other women uh, in the Boise music scene. And we started rehearsing together and it just felt really good. I think we're influenced by <clears throat> like a lot of 90s uh, alternative kind of indie bands. I think there are punk elements. I think there are like really heavy. Heavy kind of riff based music and like some sludge and doom stuff that we yeah. like to throw in. And I think it's that kind of stuff too that shocks people. Um, and it's nice to kind of mix it up a little bit, slow, heavy to fast punk, you know? Whenever we would come in with songs that um, either of us wrote, um, the other one would just automatically start harmonizing and our voices worked so well together. We had no idea how similar our voices were until we started working together, so yeah. it fell into place. We were trying to find a, a name for a really long time. And I just, I misread something. Like it was, it was the handwriting was such that on the whiteboard from, from one of the other bands that I was like, I don't, you know, I was like, I don't think that's what it says, but it, it looks like it says Blood Lemon. Yeah, and Lindsay <laughs> and I just turned to each other and we're like, oh my God, it's perfect. <laughs> We're kind of just writing about um, our experience as um, women musicians, as adult women kind of navigating adulthood now and, and polit our current political climate as well, um, especially living in Idaho. So it's a lot of what we feel is really important topics to talk about too. There's so much energy in a live performance, a live experience like that, that it's not just about the people on the stage, it's about the crowd, and it's not just about the crowd, it's about the people on the stage, and it's this like symbiotic relationship yeah. where uh, you get into the flow of it, and you're, it's like I was saying, it's like meditation. It really is like that. You can get very present and, and be very in the moment, I think, in, in a live performance. What we're seeing in a, in a lot of audiences is them being really excited and grateful to have live music back. I think it means a lot to everyone. All right, we're now joined by Cohen Jenkins, Idaho Today member and also Tree Fort enthusiast. Cohen, you're telling me a local band and it's all women. Yeah, so Blood Lemon is sort of leading the newer generation of the Boise rock scene, which is actually a lot of female-led bands. Uh, the two main ones are them and then the French Tips. Um, so I think it's really exciting that they're bringing the Boise rock scene back. And sort of, I would say the original Boise rock band is maybe like Built to Spill. Yeah. You've heard of them. They're very popular, of course, in this area. And there's still that connection there because Melanie, the basis for Blood Lemon, is now touring with Built to Spill. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. That's huge. Built to Spill, obviously, massive global name, a lot of Idaho pride behind that. Yeah. Band. To be associated with such talent and also use that to kind of help elevate Blood Lemon. Big, big opportunity. Yeah. Um, you and I were kind of talking, too, while we were watching the story that you so um, artfully crafted, by the way, great job, um, that um, there are some really unique sounds, too, that they like to experiment with. And then, and then that you can actually, we kind of heard a little little bit in your story kind of explain um, what you like about it well what I like about it is it's not just it's it's rock it's rock all the time but it's not just one aspect of rock so they'll start with uh, like some very beautiful harmonies working together and you're like wow this is very pretty and the next second they're slamming the guitar uh -huh. and, and playing some really heavy riffs 
And so you get kind of the best of both worlds, in, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, and we heard him, too, talk a lot about bass, too. Seems to be a pretty strong focus in some of their sound as well. Oh, yeah, Melanie yeah. is a terrific bassist, and uh, she's sort of the, uh, the live energy of the band at concerts. She's bouncing around the stage, getting pretty crazy up there. So I've seen them live twice, and they're really cool. And they'll be playing at Tree Fort on Wednesday at 2.40, and this is the first year that they'll be on the main stage. I saw that. I saw that it said they're going to be on the main stage, which is a big deal. That's exciting. Yeah, for a, yeah. For a Boise band that loves mm -hmm. Tree Fort so much, um, to be on the main stage is going to be great for them, and that'll be a great performance. Yeah, I absolutely think so, and I love how you're discovering these bands and sharing them with everybody. I know um, you have a couple more, too, coming up later yep. on this week. Again, one more time, where do people see Blood Lemon? So Blood Lemon, 2.40 on Wednesday on the main stage. It'll be one of the first big acts of the show. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much, Cohen. Greatly appreciate it. Everyone stick around. We've got a lot more to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break.